Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. This Monday, October 10th at 10 a.m. Pacific Time, that's 1 p.m. Eastern Time, On One Software will be officially releasing On One Photo Raw 2023. In today's video, I'm going to give an overview of On One Photo Raw 2023 for those of you that aren't familiar with On One Software at all. And along the way, I'm going to highlight some key new features that are in this version of the application for those of you that are familiar with older versions of On One Photo Raw. Now let's start with those key new features. They have a new Super Select AI tool. I've actually done a video on this, and as a matter of fact, in the description below this video, I'll have a link to a playlist, and in that playlist will be all the videos I've done already on On One Photo Raw 2023, and as I do new videos, I'll add them to that playlist. Now, Super Select AI is a great tool. Uh, with it, you could select various parts of an image. For example, if you have a scene that has a road in it, you could select the road and do editing on the road. You could select the sky, you could select the subject, you could select a tree, you could select the grass. So, uh, On One Photo Raw examines the scene and determines what elements are in that scene, and you're going to be able then, with Super Select AI, to select those various elements and edit them independently of one another. It's a great, great tool. They have Mask AI, and along some of my videos I have talked about Mask AI, but I will do a video dedicated to Mask AI. They have AI-powered adaptive presets. I did a video on this, and with those, um, the software pretty much determines what's in the scene and applies the preset accordingly. It has Quick Mask AI. Haven't done a video on that, but I will very soon. They have Tech Sharp AI. It's really just AI sharpening of your images. I've done a video on that. It's very, very effective. They have Keyword AI. I'll cover that in a future video. Content Aware Crop. I was just actually um, experimenting with that today, and it is, actually is pretty effective, and I will be doing a future video on that. They have full screen preview of presets. I have demoed that because I did a video on those AI adaptive presets. And I talked about how it gives you a preview of the preset as you hover over them. It has enhanced sky swap AI. Now, of course, older versions of On One has sky swap AI in it. And what they've done with enhanced sky swap is they've improved it. It works much better and faster. And they've added built in. 125 different OcuDrone skies. Now, those of you that watch my videos know that I've been touting OcuDrone skies for some time. I think they're the best skies on the market, and apparently On One agrees. And with On One Photo Raw 2023, you get 125 OcuDrone skies. They also have auto color fringe reduction. I haven't covered that yet, but I will. And of course, they've added support for new cameras and lenses, as they often do with every update. Now, let's just give an overview of the application. Along the way, I'll highlight some key features here and there. Uh, first of all, for those of you that aren't familiar with On One Photo Raw 2023 or On One Photo Raw at all, um, you pretty much have two different panels. You have the Browse panel and the Edit panel. The Browse panel is your digital asset manager. If you're familiar with Lightroom, it's like your library module. And anything you think you could do in a library module or a digital asset manager you could do here. You could add keywords, you could add star ratings, color labels, you could give an image a pick flag or reject flag. You could move images from folder to folder. You could see over on the left hand side we have a number of folders. Or you could add images from different folders into albums. If you're, again, if you're familiar with Lightroom, that an album is akin to a collection in Lightroom. So you could do that. You have smart albums. That's the same as Smart Collections in Lightroom. So anything you think a library module or a digital asset manager should do, you could do in On One Photo Raw 2023. So you could import images directly through an import module, or you could just click this little plus sign here and tell On One where your folder of images happens to be and it will add the images automatically. So you could get images into On One Photo Raw very, very easily. 
Um, over on the right-hand side, you have the metadata, the keywords, all that stuff I mentioned you could do in the browse module or in a digital asset manager you could do here. You know, but I think the real meat and potatoes, what most of us use these applications for is image editing. And that, of course, is done over here in the edit panel. So let's pick an image. We'll pick on that one and we'll go over to the edit panel. And it's laid out on the far left. You have some different tools included over here is that super select tool. That's the new super select AI, I should say, tool. And I did do a video on that. Again, I'll have that playlist linked in the description below this video. You could check that out. I'll probably cover that in a second and third video in the future as well. You can see that we have various types of masks, retouching brushes, and liquify. Uh, I think on one is the perfect blend of Lightroom and Photoshop, meaning it takes really some of the best features from each of those applications and puts them in one. So you're able to do a lot of things that you would do in Lightroom, pretty much everything outside of maybe a slideshow or um, you know, the web module and the map module that might be in Lightroom. Obviously, that's not going to be in on one, but it takes the best stuff, you know, the developed stuff, the stuff you could do for editing and the stuff in the library module. You could have different albums and different folders and stuff. So it takes the best of Lightroom, but then it has a lot of features from Photoshop as well, which I mentioned like Liquify, and it has different content aware features that are in Photoshop they include in on one photo raw so it's a perfect blend i believe of those two apps so you have these tools over on the left next to that you have the presets and it has all the presets it had in the past but it also added ai adaptive presets so i'll click on that i do want to mention too i am working with a pre-release version of on one photo raw 2023 when it is officially released on monday the 10th it may look or behave slightly differently um, let's go like for this is a studio portrait. Let's go to studio portrait and let's just put in a rust background. You can see how it just automatically replaces the background, automatically does masking. It's like super, super easy to use, particularly these AI adaptive presets. You can see there's a number of them. Overall, there's a ton of presets in On One Photo Raw. Over on the right hand side, we have different modules. We have the develop module. This is where you edit the tone and color of the image. Lens corrections are included here. There's noise and sharpening here as well. And then there's a transform adjustment. So if you're doing cityscapes and the buildings are falling backwards, you would correct that there. Or if you're a real estate photographer and you're taking interior shots with a wider angle lens and the corners aren't really square and your verticals aren't straight, stuff like that, you would take care of it here with this transform tool down here at the bottom. As an effects module, and this is very powerful, um, let me open that up, and you could see it added an effect to add this background behind the model. It added a texture, and you could see it did it automatically mask. That's what the AI adaptive preset did. It did auto masking, so it added the background uh, behind the model. But there's tons of filters here. If I open this up, you could see that there are a number of different filters, and this is a real strength of On One Photo Raw. Uh, in general, in my opinion, uh, these these um, filters, um, they really are effective and there's all different things you could do with the filters. So that is there. When you're wanting to replace a sky, and I'll demo that in a moment, we have the sky um, module. Next to that, we have a portrait module. I'll demo that in a minute. You could do uh, portrait editing. Then we have local adjustments. That's brushes and gradients and things like that are all done with that local uh, module right there. So let's go to a different image and talking about portraits, why don't we do that? Let's take this image. And I did some editing already here. Uh, what I want to do is convert this to black and white first. So I'm going to go to the effects module. I'm going to add a black and white filter and we'll just click on that. And we added the black and white filter. Let's edit the black and white mix just a little bit. All right. So we did the black and white filter. Now let's go to the portrait module. And when I go there, you'll see that it automatically adds a mask. And you can see how it masked his face. Not only did it really mask his face, but it masked the features of his face, meaning it has his eyes masked independently of his eyebrows and of his skin and so on. So now I could come in here and you can see it already added a bit of skin retouching 
already. It has that at 50. And if I roll the details tab open, he used frequency separation for the skin retouching. You all also have the option to do surface blur if you prefer. But most of us prefer frequency separation. It generally works best um, on portraits. So we could tweak these up. We can move them around. Uh, whatever you think is needed to make that image look decent. We could brighten the face a little bit. We could slim the face if you wanted to, but I don't want to. You could make the eyes larger and you have independent control of each eye. So you could make, like, say, his left eye larger, which is really his right eye. It's left from my point of view. And you could see his right eye there. A lot of times, I, don't, I typically don't make eyes larger. A lot of photographers who are shooting models for photo shoots, they tend to make the eyes, usually they say 10% larger. It's uh, something you could do, most often it was done in Photoshop, and you'd make them 10% larger. Looks natural, and it just makes the model look better, I guess. What I tended to use it for is sometimes, depending on what focal length lens you're using and how you have your model posed, one eye will look much larger than the other eye, and it doesn't look right. So I will use this to make the smaller eye look a little larger so that it looks more natural. But in this case, I don't have to. You can see the brightness of the eyes are here, the whitening of the white part of his eyes, add detail to his irises, remove dark circles here. You could enhance his eyebrows. See how I mentioned that it does masking, but it not only masks just the face, it masks the features of the face. Now, if he was showing his teeth, I'd be able to whiten those. Don't need to do it because he's not showing them. And since it's black and white, um, lip vibrance really doesn't matter. I could make his lips brighter, maybe. So that's that. I overdid his eyes a little bit. Well, let's bring that back down. And let's do a before after. There is before. And there's after, before, after. So you could see that the uh, portrait editing tools in On One Photo Raw are really quite incredible. Let's go to another image. Let me show you the sky swap real quick. We'll go here to this image. And to go to sky swap, you just click on sky. It will automatically mask the sky. And then you have options. You have different categories. And I mentioned that On One Photo Raw 2023 comes up with 125 different OccuDrone skies. Let's just uh, pick, I don't know, blustery blue. Let's go there. Then you could pick what sky you want. Let's just find one very quickly. All right, there's one. That's kind of cool. But what about the reflection, you might be asking? Well, that's included too. You just click down here and turn on the reflection, and you can see the reflection is there. What I really like about their sky replacement tool is you could move the reflection vertically independent of the actual sky. We'll simply jump down here to shift vertical, and you can see how I can move that so it kind of matches the scene up above. The amount, I can make it stronger or lighter with that. And then you have other controls too. You could add the actual sky itself. You could uh, move that and you can see that moves with the reflection when you move that one. The opacity, do you want it to blend in with the sky, the existing sky? You could fade the edge so it looks better like around the tree, shift the edge. You could scale it larger or smaller. You could level it and maybe make it tilted a little bit. You could add some warmth or coolness to it and you could affect the brightness as well. So you have a lot of control over the sky with the sky replacement filter that is in On One Photo Raw 2023. And I've done videos on sky replacement with On One Photo Raw with the older versions. I will do an updated video in the near future. So let's just very quickly, just let me show you how you might go about editing an image uh, when you open up an image unedited raw file in the starts out in the develop module. You have full control over the tone, so you have highlights you can bring down. Open up those mid-tones a little bit, open up those shadows a little bit. To get a white and black point, hold in the J key and you'll see red come in. That's when you're starting to blow out the highlights. Bring that back down, hold that J key in. And when you see blue come in, that's when you're starting to crush the shadows. There, you can add some structure. 
mid tones down a little bit more. And you could affect temperature, the uh, color, the white balance. Up here, also, there's camera profiles, so you have full control with profiles like you would in other applications. Then you might want to jump over to the effects panel, and you could add a filter, one of my favorites, and I think most people that use this application is dynamic contrast. See how it just really sharpens the image. Um, if this had, um, by the way, if it had a noise issue, I would go back to the develop panel, and I would just close down tone and color. You go to noise and sharpening, you could see there's no noise AI, which is built in. Fantastic noise reduction uh, application. There's that tack sharp AI. So you could sharpen the image and then both. There's really not noise, any noise in this image, uh, but I do have um, a video on tack sharp AI. And in along the way, I do no noise AI with it. So again, that will be linked in the playlist that is in the description below this video, so you could check that out. And I will do an, another video on that because these are very effective, and I'll show you some different examples on how to use No Noise AI, Tack Sharp AI, and to use them both together. So we added, you know, the, um, I'm sorry, we added the, didn't want to go to Sky. We added the effects that we needed to add, uh, Dynamic Contrast, and from here, you could export it. You go down here to the lower right, and you could export it. You have all these different export options, um, so you have a lot of control there. I also want to add, if we go back up to the Browse module, just to tie things together, and we look over at the right-hand panel, you could see you could do panoramas, you could do HDRs, you could do focus stacking, and down here, you could resize the image, so it has on one resize built in, and you could go and print the image so it has a print module or print capabilities uh, built in so that you could send it to a printer and have it control your printer. And of course, the export, which I talked about before. So that's on one Photo Raw 2023, just a really quick overview. Didn't really get into anything too heavy. Uh, make suggestions in the comments before where you'd like me to go in the future, what types of videos you want me to do about on one Photo Raw 2023, and I will definitely do them. And um, again, it's being released this Monday, the 10th at 10 a.m. Pacific time. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. Really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon. <laughs>